it's a lot of wonderful beers out there. And there's a lot of wonderful beers out there. I'm excited for is just to see everybody again. Not so much about the competition. I just want to, uh, you know, spend a lot of time fucking with friends I haven't seen in a while. I love uh, not just competing with other bearded men, but uh, the friendship I make along the way. I've got friends around the world and around the country from competing. Barney, Devin, Brandon, Jack. I, I don't even know if I'm gonna pay my power bill when I get home, and I don't care. This, this is the best, best time I've had in forever. Win or lose today, I'm going home a winner because last night at the Amish dinner, I'm standing there all starstruck in, in front of Mr. Hartwick from the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, wanting to get a picture with him. So I walked up to him and, and started talking and he actually leaned into me and says, excuse me, can I get a picture with you? And I was like, are you kidding? And then today, we're just coming into the stadium and I'm standing here and Miss Pennsylvania just walked up to me and says, hi Steve, can I get a picture with you? And I just kind of went, oh my God, I've just died and went to heaven. So I've said this many times, every every time there's a beard competition, you get more and more guys, and the guys who are in it get better and better and better. Oh, I'm gonna get crushed. It's my is my my theory. I'm gonna get so unbelievably annihilated by everyone. My bosses ask what sort of food is in there, what's growing in there. They call me Ulysses S. Grant. That's fine. They're just not as manly as me, and I think they're a little jealous. It's just, it's just part of who I am, it's what I do. The camaraderie of um, men that are used to being looked at with that odd look of why the hell does he do that? But we can all get together and, uh, and appreciate the commitment. I've never had a negative comment about it. I've had people walk by and just kind of break out laughing hysterically, but I'll usually join in the laugh and just keep walking myself. What else is there that a man can do? Grow a beard, grow a mustache. Sometimes I'll have girls come up to me and say, why would you do that? But. Girls don't understand. I don't know where it all stems from exactly. I mean, as a kid, I uh, all my stick figures that I would draw, if I was you know, drawing characters, I would usually give them mustaches. I just, I, I just like the, the fact of, you know, like bearded men uniting. In fact, uh, celebrating the beard, it's something that you don't see too much in our culture anymore, unfortunately, and it's glad that there's a resurgence of it. I shaved it off once uh, after having it on for 10 years. She, I never told her that I was shaving it off, and she said, when she first saw me, she burst out in tears and said, there's the man I married. So at this point, she's non-committal. It's just good. I, it's magnificent. It's, it's how men are supposed to look, right? I do in fact love beards, um, there is a bunch of grizzled men with large beards, probably drinking beer in a little bit, I mean, that sounds like a good time no matter what. I came today because I love beards, I'm trying to convince my husband to grow one, I haven't yet, but I will, I will win, oh yes I will. There's beautiful facial hair, uh, it is humbling and, inspi and inspiring. came to see Jack Passion today because he's my hero, I have his picture hanging in my house, I love him. She's pregnant and we came out to the beard and mustache competition to take pictures of fantastic beards and mustaches with our soon-to-be baby.
I've been growing uh, a mustache for uh, two years or so, and it almost has no practicality, so I'd like to put it to some use. It sounds real silly and fake, but to be honest, since I was like in sixth grade, I for some reason had a fascination with facial hair, and I was like, man, I want a beard so bad, I want a mustache so bad. I, I like to do this. It makes me uh, look like I know what I'm doing. I've seen like a two-year-old walk by me and uh, turn his head and actually walk right into a wall. These guys are like one of my closest friends. I gotta wear a beard net to make cheese every single day. I've never made, I've been making cheese for three years and I've never made cheese without one. My mother doesn't particularly like it. Uh, my friends, they, they like it, they give me a hard time. I'm here at home around the streets where I'm doing people people are either smiling or waving or coming up saying that's a great beard it's just great it's fun just being here and all and hanging out with everybody having a good time is winning all together not making it to the finals not winning the competition is something I can do all the time but hanging out with all these great folks that's a once in a lifetime experience my sister passed away and that was the day I quit shaving and I've always had a mustache, but the beard, I sort of just did a personal note there and it just kept going and I said, I'm just going to keep it. I really think it's just the community. It's a great, great group of people. You never, never meet a nicer group. I just decided one day to do it. So when my first kid was born, I let it grow. You know, I'm not here to win, I'm, I'm here for the fun. I just decided to let it go and just see what happens. I'm a total attention horror. Professional narcissist, I call myself. Uh, I get a lot of uh, positive comments, a lot of high fives when I go downtown. Um, every once in a while you get that negative comment, the heckler, but I assume that's pretty much from a hater that really can't do what I'm doing. I thought it went fantastic. Um, the most important thing for me was that there was a huge group of people here who had a great time. Well, I was on stage today with 15 wonderful, full natural beards. And I do feel that every one of the ones that won today deserves the prize. I will be back next year, and I will try again not to re reclaim the title.